Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Movies You Probably Missed. And we're starting this week with the rules of attraction. Are you fucking crazy? If I'm crazy. <laughs> this movie was based on a novel written by Brett Easton Ellis, who also wrote American Psycho. And there's even a little bit of extended universe going on because in the rules of attraction, James Vanderbeek plays the younger brother of Patrick Bateman, Sean Bateman. The movie is about the lives of college kids on campus in New Hampshire. And as you'd expect, there's a lot of drugs and drama involved. Oh, 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 I, I can feel my dick. I can feel my dick. If you like the messed up attitude of Alice's books, you're probably gonna like this one. Number two, Backcountry. Oh my God, Alex. You can kind of compare this one with movies such as Open Water or Frozen. Nope, not that Frozen, the other one with the ski lift and the wolves. Just like those two movies, it also builds up tension and it involves an animal attack. If you haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it for you by saying too much, so let's just move on from here. Number three, Wrist Cutters, A Love Story. Who could think of a better punishment, really? Everything's the same here, it's just a little worse. This is a brilliant low budget indie film about a young man played by Patrick Fugit. After he gets dumped by his girlfriend, he commits suicide, only to end up in some sort of purgatory where everything is broken down and crappy. It's even impossible to smile in this place. When he discovers that his ex also committed suicide shortly after him, he decides to go find her. I'm not sitting in the back. Why not? Because everybody knows guy in the back seat doesn't have a cock. What? If you like the movies of Jim Jarmusch, you're most likely going to love this one. Even though it's directed by Goran Dukic, it's got a lot in common. Number four, The Mule. Bend over, mate. Now hold still. In this excellent Australian comedy drama, Angus Sampson plays a not too bright TV repairman named Ray. Ray has been convinced by a friend to smuggle drugs into the country by swallowing condoms full of heroin. Of course, he's almost immediately arrested and then the waiting game begins. The authorities can only hold him for so long, so Ray cannot take a shit for a couple of days or he'll get thrown in jail. Did any of the boys take drugs over there? I don't know. What, no Buddha stick? Did you? No. Bit of hash? Anyone offer you drugs? Bit of coke. No. I ask you to hide drugs. Mum like a taste, does she? What? You sure? No, I've never had heroin. It was an end of season 40 trip. That's it. Who said anything about heroin? This leads to a battle of willpower. It's a little gross sometimes, but it's really captivating to watch. And number five, everybody wants some. You know, I, I couldn't help but notice you ladies being hassled by that asshole in the car back there. It's a shame, you know, some guys are just so aggressive. You know, myself, I'm a firm supporter of the ERA, although I doubt it's gonna have an immediate impact on the societal norm of the male gender initiating virtually all contact with prospective females. Uh -huh. You know, which might seem predatory on the surface, but I assure you Trust that- Trust me, you should be investing this energy elsewhere. There's not much to say about the plot of this movie. It's another Richard Linklater film about the lifestyle of a group of kids. But this time, instead of high school, it's set in college, with a team of baseball players instead of high school students. The movie is set in the early 80s, and the story doesn't really go anywhere. It's basically a vignette of a specific moment in time. But because of the great acting and really fun dialogue, it's a very enjoyable movie to watch. What am I thinking about? Baseball. Having a tail. Cereal? Fuck. Thinking about sharks. I was thinking about sharks. Yeah. Sharks have tails. That's a good point. That's it for this episode. And if you like this video, feel free to click on the blue M&M to subscribe. Until next time. You see, I'm six foot one and I'm tons of fun and I dress to a T. You see, I got more clothes than Muhammad Ali and I dress so viciously. I got bodyguards, I got two big cars that definitely ain't the way. Tell me, Dale. I got a Lincoln Continental and a sunroof Cadillac.